OK, so now let's look at the key components that make up lifetime value. Boom. When I think of what makes up lifetime value, we're going to get into a lot of different things. But if I have major groupings, we're going to talk, first of all, about the revenue component. Then we're going to talk about kind of the profitability of it. And then we're going to talk about how do we think about this over time. So in the revenue, there are three key components. The first thing is the one-time charge. That is, what do we get when we sell our product? Do we get one big slug of money up front, or 30 days from now, or 45 days from now? That one-time charge is extremely valuable to us, and we need to identify that. Um, the second component is the recurring revenue stream. So that's the money that comes over time. It could come on a monthly basis. It could come on a quarterly basis. It could come on a yearly basis. But it's, it's, it's the gift that keeps giving over time. And the third thing is additional revenue opportunities that may arise once they have our product installed. Often these are called upselling opportunities. Bill, thank you for sharing that. Uh, can you offer an example to kind of bring it all together? Sure. Let me, let me give an example of Sensible Technologies. You know, at Sensible, we had a, a, a package. We sold them free form. In this package was a hardware device. It was basically a, a, a 3D force feedback device. Think of it as a three-dimensional mouse with touch ability in it. It was a little robot. So we sold that to them with the software. And then when the software, you know, we would get an upgrading cost. So they wanted to buy a software um, support package. They also wanted to buy a hardware, you know, you know, maintenance package. So what we had there was one time upfront charge of $20,000. And then every year we had a recurring charge for the software and to handle the maintenance of $1,500. So we had this recurring revenue, both of which were great. We wanted to get money up front, but then we wanted to get additional money over time, especially to offset our support cost. The third thing that allowed us to do was the upselling opportunities, because we could go back and sell them additional products, associated products that came to us. What was key here is that we own the customer relationship. And then once we had that, we were getting revenue for our products, and then we could start to increase what we sold them. So this is the revenue kind of lane that we're talking about. This is the first thing to understand in your lifetime value calculation. What revenue are you, you getting? In the one-time charge category, in the recurring revenue category, and in the additional revenue opportunities, the upselling. Bill, it appears that this applies to complex products. The sensible product was a combination of hardware and software. But it doesn't have to be always this way. It could be a more simple product that you buy once. Let's say you go into a store and you buy a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. And then you come back again, you buy again. Yes. Right? So you just have a sequence of one-time charges. Mm -hmm. So that's when you think about food and things like that, that's correct. And people say, well, that's what I do with my car. Actually, if you think about you know, automotive manufacturers, do you know how they make money? They make money, they sell you a car, and they get a one-time charge. But how they really make money, especially the dealers, is doing the maintenance on those cars after they get it. Yeah. And this is, you know, this is Tesla moving into this to disrupt this business model. But it's not just a one-time charge. It's the follow-on. And people are constantly looking for how can they expand their revenue opportunities in a way that the customer and the decision-making unit will appreciate that. So you're right. It can be very simple, but as we get more sophisticated, we want to look at these different revenue streams and see if there are opportunities for us to create value and then extract value as well. Because what we really have here is a piece of gold, and that is the relationship with the customer. And that's what we want to leverage throughout the process. So to repeat, in our lifetime value calculation, the first th thing we need to understand is the top line. That is, what's the revenue component? And this can come in three areas. What's the one-time charge? What's the recurring revenue? And what's the upsell opportunity? Now let's take a look at the next component, and that is profitability. 